Well, you'd be accurate in describing this as cold. It's brisk. It's pretty bracing. In spite of the cold, people come to Iceland to experience the aggressive and stunning landscapes. And while you can do this via dog sled or snowmobile, most choose a bus tour. The most popular tour is of the Golden Circle, a round trip of some of Iceland's most spectacular natural features. But that takes up to eight hours. So I've got a better idea. Look. For a mere 10 times the price of a sluggish coach, we jointly commend you to charter a copter. By taking to the skies, we can complete the Golden Circle tour in just one hour, seven hours quicker than the bus. Oh. Imagine we could just be going along at a sedate pace, not encountering the frankly valuable lesson that life can end at any moment. <laughs> Our first stop on the Golden Circle tour is the home of Iceland's most famous water features, the geysers. Jess, shall we go and check out this geyser that everyone's going on about? Yes. OK, let's vacate the copter. These geysers are liquidy illustrations of Iceland's active landscape and have been spewing out magma-heated water here for 10,000 years. We're here, Jess, at the biggest geyser in Iceland. At the diamond geyser. The Ray Winstone, if you will of Iceland. Wow, I bet get the camera out. Well, I don't think it's going to go off anytime soon. It oh. last erupted 70 foot high in the air in 2000 when D Ream were at their height. Things can only get better. Yeah. Well, they didn't. No. Unfortunately, they got a lot worse. We did get Brian Cox out of it, so yeah. swings and roundabouts. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take you to the second biggest skeezer, the Danny Dyer, if you will. And that erupts every three minutes, much like Danny Dyer, only joking, he's just an actor. He, 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 he's not like that. He's in control. Wow. That's Strocker for you. Strocker. Regular as you like. I imagine that um, you'll be wanting to document this with a picture of yourself, with that in the background. That's what you... Well, the memory of it's certainly not going to be enough. It's not sufficient. We no must way. document it. I'm going to gift you now. Yeah. The M pod goes around your smartphone, thus you can attach that to any object, a bench, a branch, and so on. And also the Halo remote. How does it work, Richard? Well, that's already clipped in. Yeah. You clip that, sure. the tripod or something else, yeah. and then you navigate Click using on this okay. remote. Do you yeah. think I could just perch it somewhere on you if I just... Okay. Clip it on. Perfect. OK. okay. <laughs> oh, look. It's swelling. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Bang! I hope you didn't blow it. With three minutes wasted on frippery, we must return to the Terracopter and continue on our so-called way. We are journeying through a valley where the North American and Eurasian tectonic plates are tearing the world apart, and that is straight from Wikipedia. They're moving towards each other, or kind of, they're about to collide. All I remember is that in geography, that's where you did extra special shading. Moving 2.5 centimetres a year is a rollicking romp in geological terms. Another Golden Circle tour stop checked off without even touching the ground. But I demand yet more speed. Wow, look at that. That's a whole heap of falling water. Gorgeous. We are ending the Golden Circle tour here at Golfos, a waterfall with a 32 metre drop over its two steps, fed by Iceland's second biggest glacier. <laughs> this seems a steep descent. <laughs> this seems too steep. Well, here we are. What a view. It's pretty good. Yeah. Look at those saps on the <laughs> other side, all in a big line, ostensibly closer to it. With a better view. On the face of it, it looks like that. But not only can we see that, we can also see them and the car parking facility and the visitor centre. Sure. And we have the added bonus of no protective barrier, so it keeps it alive and jangly. <laughs> now I'm really you, glad you're that pleased we, we were I in the am. copter. It would have been weird not to have travelled by helicopter. Why doesn't everyone do it? What do you feel, Richard? Do you feel? I feel pretty cold. That's what I feel. Yeah. It's a cracking display of nature. Yeah. And <laughs> words like vitality, oh. vivacity. Water. Those sorts of words certainly are. 
I'm thinking of words like inside, heating, tea.